Okay, Mr. Sams. Yeah. We are going to get into the math part of chemistry. Let's go. This has got a lot of math, and so this is all about what we call dimensional analysis. Yeah, guys, you're going to use this every single day. Oh my for the gosh. Rest this is of so important. Yes. Do not blow this off. Do not think, oh, I'm just going to skip it. No. If there was a podcast that you needed to watch, this is it. This and the next one yep. are the two key podcasts to understand almost for the year. These yep. are the most, two most important podcasts um, of this unit. Yes. If not even the year. Right. We're so foundational. We're going to teach you a way to do math the way we want you to do math yep. in this class. Which may not be the way that your math teacher has taught you. So, um, there are other ways to do these problems, but you need to use our method because as we get to more complex chemistry problems, you this will... This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. All right. All right. There are a number of rules. I'm going to just kind of have them come up with a screen, and you need to pause Hit and pause. write these down. Write them down. All right. You should have written all these down. So the key thing is that everything is done as a fraction. Hello, my pen is the wrong place. Everything's done as a fraction. Everything has a unit. What's that mean, Mr. Sams? No naked numbers. What, naked numbers? What does that mean? Everything has to have a unit of measurement. A on it. unit of measurement. Arrange the conversion factor such that the units cancel. Okay. And then the top number gets multiplied and the bottom number gets divided. divided. You're gonna, we're just going to do a zillion examples. And once you get there, you'll be fine. Oh, before we do the examples, we should talk about something. You have to understand what the different conversions are. and. This is a huge list of conversions, but I want to highlight a few important ones yeah. in the metric system. This one right here, which is kilo, kilo which means the thousand. Mm -hmm. you can ex and then we can just jump down, and we can jump down Centi. to centi, which is one one hundredth. Yep. Milli, Milli is a thousandth. And while we're at it, micro. Micro is kind of a weird one yeah. in that you have a funny looking U. Yeah. It's actually a Greek letter yeah. deal. And then uh, that's a millionth. And a nano is a billionth. Yep. And that's pretty much the only ones you need to worry about. Yeah. This chart has lots of things. Another thing to say is that what you will be doing is this is the back of your periodic table that you'll get handed out. Now, if you're in our classes, if you're watching this on the internet, um, there are lots of conversion tables. Yep. But the part that you care about is the one that says conversions right through here. And that's what you're going to look at um, when you do these problems. So here's actually a zoom in of those conversions that we're going to use. Now, some of the conversions are not here, like how many milliliters in a liter, that kind of a thing. You need to know that from just the definitions from the... Yep from uh, what does a milli mean and all that kind of stuff. So let's just dive in and let's, right, let's do, do some, some conversions. So I have 77 kilograms. kilograms. Rule number one write is... Write down what you know and as a fraction. put it over one. All right, so you want to write it as a fraction. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by. Now we use these like railroad tracks. Yep. Now what I need to do is I need to look at my conversion factor and see if I can find something that relates kilograms and um, pounds. What am I going from? Uh, kilograms to grams. Kilograms to grams. Now look on my conversion table. It's not there, not Mr. Not there, Sims. no. Um, what am I going to do? You can go to the previous one. Yeah. Ah. Go to the previous one. There it is. Now, here's the thing: is there's a thousand. Now, what is this going to be? That's the there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. Grams in one kilogram. Right. That's how many of the base or units one kilo, are. One kilo, but this happens to be grams. We right. have kiloliters or right. kilo. There's one thousand base units in a kilo. Something. So like now what I like to do is I like to put on the bottom of this fraction the unit. So I'm going to put kg. I right. look at the letters first. Right. Why'd you put kg on the bottom? Because I want the kgs to cancel. Oh, yeah. And the kgs are here on the top. Now they're on the bottom here. And then I'm going to put the g on the top. Right. Now the g is what you're looking for. That's what you're trying to get. Yep. That one always goes on the top. That is exactly right. And of course, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Right. You know, you might have written this, 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram, right. right? So we turn that into a fraction. And so what I do now, of course, is I then just take them, and you take numbers, the rule, next rule, numbers on the top are yep. multiplied. Would you mind canceling numbers those on the units bottom. Yeah, what happens is the kilograms, of course, cancel, and I'm left with yeah. grand left units. Left with grams, all right, and so. That would be 77 times 1,000, which would be 77 thousand. I don't even need a calculator. Yeah, we're not going to do that in the calculator. Grams. But we can. 77 times 1,000 because the thousand's in the top and the 77's are in the yeah. top, so we multiply 77,000. That's pretty easy. Okay. All right. Let's do another. Okay. Our next problem is we do mol milliliters to liters. All right. So I have, I write down what I know as a fraction over 1, 0 0.0087 milliliters over one, fraction over one, right? Mm -hmm. And now I need to convert milliliters to liters. Now I see that I have milliliters on the top, so in the next fraction, the milliliters, milliliters are goes go on, on the bottom. bottom. 
And I'm, is there a conversion milliliters to liter? There is. We so can look I on the metric conversion table. Now, milli means what? One one thousandth. One one thousandth. Meaning there are one thousand milliliters in one liter. Now, one way to remember, once you know the thousand part, you need to realize the bigger unit will get the one, yep. the smaller unit will get the other number, a thousand, yep. maybe ten, yep. you know, a million, or whatever it happens to be. All right. So now, in this case, in this reaction, or this uh, problem, the thousand is on the bottom. Right. So, so numbers on the bottom are, multi are divided. So numbers on top are time. So point you're gonna zero zero eight seven. Okay. Divided, divided by, by a, thousand. a thousand. Now yeah. notice I'm not doing anything with the ones, because if you multiply or divide anything by one, yep, ignore it. It's the same number itself. So yeah. we don't Algebra. we don't worry about the ones. So it's eight point seven e negative six in my calculator. So eight point seven times ten to the minus six was it? Yep, negative six. Six. And that would be what you actually Liter uh, and cancel the milliliters cancel, and I end up with liters. Liters. That's not too bad, is it? No. All right. All right. Let's look at our next one. We want to go from millimoles to moles. So I have four point five m m o l. But Mr. Bergman, I haven't learned about moles yet. But you know what milli means, you, Mr. Sam. Yes, it's true. And so if I go millimoles to moles. Now there are a thousand milliliters in a liter, so, so it'll be a thousand millimoles in a mole. In a mole. So, that makes so I can sense. say millimoles on the bottom, so I got to get that to cancel, mm -hmm. and I'm going to convert to moles. And milli, we just did this a minute ago. Yeah. Milli, right? The bigger unit is the mole unit. Milli is the small unit, so that's a thousand. Yep. So, so it's four point five. The thousands on the bottom, so you would divide the millimoles cancel. Yep. Point zero zero four five, or you could say four point five times ten to the negative third. Either way. Which is also four point. Five times ten to the minus third moles. Same answer. Yep. All right. Okay. Twelve yards to feet. Okay. Mm, that All doesn't right. look like an SI unit to me. Well, it isn't. You have that. No. Yeah. So twelve it yards. For, it works for non-SI stuff too. Oh yeah. Mm. You know, what? I actually use this in the grocery store and I use this in the hardware store. Oh yeah. When I'm planning projects or if I'm shopping oh, yeah. and I want to get the best value, All I use the time. dimensional analysis all the time. I do too. My wife, who is a uh, a nurse, or she used to be a nurse. Um, uh, she would use this all the time to calculate dosages of children oh, to yeah. make sure that she would not overdose the children or oh, underdose yeah. them because uh, that would have been pretty bad. Yeah. Could kill them. Okay, so I notice I put yards. I'm going to put yards on the bottom again. Okay. Need to cancel. The yards are, yeah. And I want to go to feet. Now, yep. mm, yards to feet. Yeah. That was the one you may not know. Yeah. And um, you know, it's not on the conversion table, but I happen to know what that number is. Maybe you know what that yep. number is. Three feet in a yard. So there are three feet in one yard. Yep. Yard's a bigger unit. So they're both on top, so 12 times 3. 12 times Mr. 3. <laughs> I'm putting it in the calculator. That'd be 36 feet. 36 feet. Again, just doing what Yards our students are doing. Cancel. Okay, yeah.